It's your boy Chris with the next. Today I want to talk about Oscar So White and Stacey Dash's stupid ass clueless comments about getting rid of BET and all these other black uh, TV shows, I mean stations that really helped our community and to get notice. Um, I don't care about Oscar So White because I already got my Oscar. So screw y'all. No, I'm just kidding. That's the mock award. Um, I guess, um, because I'm an actor, so I usually don't talk about, like, all this Hollywood stuff, but, you know, I'm an actor, so I guess I should give my two cents about it. First of all, Stacy Dash's trifling ass comments, I feel like. Um, I do agree with her to some extent, but let's not take away BET, because, um, BET is responsible for a lot of people who MTV wouldn't have played. If it wasn't for BET, we wouldn't have known no Keisha Cole, or half a, um, like Common, or VH1 Soul, Soul Train, uh, whatever, a TV1. You know, it's because of those, it's because of those, um, b black stations that we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of, um, people that probably wouldn't have gotten no shine. Because let's face it, MTV back then was not trying to, um, wasn't checking for no black artists. Michael Jackson was the first black artist that they had played, which was the Beat It video. Or... Yeah, it was Beat It, and then Whitney Houston was the first black female that they played, which was How Will I Know. You know, and then they broke down the doors, you know, because a lot of people was demanding for them, before they, um, check it for their videos, and they brought, um, so a lot of black artists got played on, on MTV, but not, like, um, not all of them, is what I'm trying to say. So they had to create BET just you know to get those like non-commercial um, songs up there. Not to say that commercial songs aren't good. It's just you know just some artists would have not got played or seen or shows or any of that. So let's not uh, take away from BET or Soul Train because they was on in an era. They was on in an era where you know black people wasn't really getting you no know, um, play. So. Um, I definitely call BS on um, not having <laughs> uh, well MTV don't even play music nowadays so I guess it wouldn't really be relevant but you know that's why when a lot of people need to take pride in their own awards because a BET award a NACCP award those aren't throwaway awards those mean something to, uh, for our community you know it's just not like somebody just created a random award. No, those awards have history and meaning to it. So when people say, oh, it's just a BET award, no. Um, again, BET is responsible for a lot of artists who would have not got played had, had um, they not created BET. I'm just saying. Just for like a lot of um, Latino or other awards. So the whole. So that's my take on her comments. Uh, Clueless, they really knew to uh, cast her in Clueless, because obviously, <laughs> no shade. Uh, as for Oscar so white, the uh, Oscar should be diverse. A lot of black artists, that, I mean a lot of black actors that had gotten Oscars, a lot of people don't really agree. Like, uh, Holly Berry, I feel like she should have got the Oscar for, um, Dorothy Dandridge. But they gave it to her for, um, Monsters Ball, and yeah, she got popped by <laughs> the white man. Not to say there's anything wrong with that, but I don't think she should have got the Oscar for that movie. I should think she should have got it for Dorothy Dandridge. Dorothy Dandridge alone, her life was just, a, you know, spiral. And Holly, I mean, her life, um, Y'all seen the movie, you know, she went through a lot, and Holly Berry really played that. She really played that really good, so. 
um, Denzel was a crook who gets some training day. Um, Hattie McDaniel of uh, played a man, a slave, first black actress that got it. Um, also, she has a walk of fame, so you know that's always good. The only person I feel like got an award that was respectable was, um, I mean, all awards, whether you win it, you won it, you know, but, um, when Jennifer Hudson won for Dreamgirls, because, of course, you know, she had the dream, then she got kicked out of the um, group, and it just spiraled from there. So, um, yeah, I do feel like the Oscars should be diverse. I don't feel... But I do feel that a lot of people in the black community need to take pride in their um, wars as well. You know, I'm all about what Jada Pinkett said and Will Smith and, um, yeah, it's just um, Oscar so white. Um, I do feel like it should be diverse and I do feel like whoever deserves it, deserves it. Um, is it a white award ceremony? Is it mostly catered to white people? Of course. Um, but I do feel like it should be diverse. You know, for all races, not just black, but for all other um, nationalities. So, what are, what's your take on it? Leave it in the comment section below. Any questions, concerns, anything you want me to talk about? Leave it in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with next. Peace. I said peace. Oh, and P.S. Um, do you yeah, do y'all really think that some white people is really watching straight out of Compton? But then again, they watched Precious, and Monique won an award for that. So um, that's something to think about. You know, uh, it's really not hard. I'm. Um, because it's really sometimes hard to like recreate stories. Well, in the right hands, people can really um, create real good um, biopics and stories. So I feel like people should win an Oscar, no matter what um, nationality they are. As long as the story was told right, and as long as it was told right. Like the um, movie Selena was told very good. And so forth and so forth. So yeah, I just want to have that two cents in there. 